Greetings, fellow humans. So, another package from PCBWay has arrived. Uh, this should be a new revision of this board. This is actually not from PCBWay. This is from Seed Studio. And in this video, I'll be comparing the quality of the two boards just to see how different fabs compare. So, let's open this package. So what do we have inside? Okay, so unlike last time, they are just loosely packed in this this sort of pouch. So last time I received them in a vacuum sealed uh, wrap with bubble wrap on one side, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So. Let's have a look. Nice and purple. I really like the solder mask. It's it's not bad at all. It's, if this would focus. Focus for me. So as you can see. The drills are not quite exactly in the middle. For my purposes, that's that's very sufficient. I don't think there is much of a solder mask between the pads. Oh, look, they put the tracking code in the middle of the chip. That's very convenient. That means the tracking code will not be visible anywhere else that's something i like to see because i'll show you with the board from seed uh, studio the seed fusion they just put the tracking codes at the bottom uh, of my bottom side so i was not quite impressed with that but then again i didn't tell them otherwise so it's really to be expected yeah well, I like the alignment of the of the top face. Now let's see what the bottom face looks like. Oh no, that actually looks very good as well. That is not bad at all. It is a little bit off, like yes, of course this wouldn't be IPC class 3. I would need to pay extra for that, like you can see that one little VI in the middle being pretty misaligned with its drill, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Electrically, I think this will be perfectly fine. And here is the QR code, which by the way will not work because it's inverted in colors and mirrored in symmetry, so do violations of the specifications. If it would be just just inverted, then most readers can deal with that. But if it's mirror image, then there is very little chance that that will actually work. Oh well, that's fixed in yet another revision, which I'll maybe print depending on how this one will work. Yeah. Well, anyway. Let's have a look at the at the other boards, at the Seed Studio boards, because they are a bit more expensive, especially the shipping. Yeah, also my vias are covered here, but that's you can still see how they are drilled. So again, no solder mask between pads. That's okay. I mean, if you have a solder paste, then it will stick to the copper anyway. And if you solder by hand, then that's 
should be fine as well. As long as you use plenty of flux, the surface tension should just stick to the pad and leave the other pads alone. But well, bridges can always be always be fixed. All right, and for the bottom side, here you can see the tracking number is just here. That's I found that a bit rude, but I didn't tell them otherwise, so it's okay. And on the bottom side, you can see, maybe you can see through the through the solder mask that the drills are again not perfectly centered with their vias, but the ring is unbroken, so so electrically it will work just fine. Yep. Well. So that's, that's pretty much all for this board. Yeah. The surface finish seems nice. It's the immersion gold option, which I believe is just any finish. Yeah. Oh well, this will be fun to solder. But that's probably for a different video because that will be a very challenging task with just hand soldering and you know with soldering iron and, and spool of lead free solder. Oh well, that will be fun. So, oh yeah, also one thing I want to show was this little cutout for my USB port. That looks pretty clean as well. Yeah, that's very nicely routed. No sharp edges that I can see. In fact, I can't even see where it was snapped. Like it's it's very smooth overall. Like there is not a single blemish. For example, on these boards, on the on the seed boards, you can see a little tab in here where it was broken from the panel. But nothing like that on the arrow board, it's just perfectly routed all the way around. At least no blemish I can see. Oh well, yep, so that's probably all for this video. I might show you the result when I'm done with soldering. What is that thing? What is that thing? Is it a lifted pad or something? No. Surely not. Oh well, I'll look at it more closely. But that's that's okay. It's fine. It it's I like the boards. The solder mask is really beautiful purple. It's yeah, I know that purple is sort of the trademark, not trademark, but like it's signature solder mask for one other prototype board manufacturer over in America, but oh well, that's that's not a big deal. Yep, oh well, that's, that's all for this video and I might show you how it looks when I'm done soldering. In the meantime, be good. Hi, so after I finished that video, I realized I still want to talk about a few more things, so here they are condensed. I went through all 10 boards that I received and actually 11 now that I'm counting them. Huh. Oh well, that's... I'm not complaining, that's nice, but uh, I sorted them into three groups, the perfect ones, the ones with slight defects, and then the ones which I don't think will be particularly useful because of the defects they have on them. So let me quickly go through them. These boards, uh, I mentioned previously I couldn't find the routing tab, but that is actually not the case. I was able... It's just a slightly different place. 
you can see right here that in fact there is little little tab here but it's okay uh, so I just picked a sample from the perfect category let me just show you what kind of defects you can expect on the in the perfect category so the first board is all good the vias are nicely centered if it will focus for me yep no problem there the pads are clean of course i'll need to take uh, some isopropyl alcohol and clean it before any actual soldering but that's that's pretty good no centering issues no nothing uh, let me just show you something i found on the other side of this board there is some pretty bad case of silk screen smearing i'm not sure what happened there but I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh well, it's not like it will influence the functionality of this board. It just doesn't look too pretty. But this is the back side anyway. No one will see it. So that's fine. Now let's move on to the second category. Uh, all of these in the second category have some uh, drill centering issues. So you can see the drills are not perfectly aligned with their vias like i've got a feeling in some cases it even gets out of the via but the insides all seem to be plated anyway so it's not like there is no electrical connection it's just you wouldn't want this on a like high reliability high performance board but for this little project it's not a big deal yeah it's just little cosmetic imperfection but oh well for such low price the, these sort of defects are really to be expected it's fine so one more thing i wanted to show with this particular board so is this little crater in here i'm not sure if you can see but like right next to the via over there I'm not sure what it is i'm suspecting it's just the solder mask doing something it's not supposed to do i'm hoping it's not that we are shorting to the ground because that would be bad but uh well i will see what happens allegedly it's all electrically tested so that should not be a short but it just doesn't look too pretty but other than that it's fine it's like these boards are fine to use so that was the second category and now for the third and biggest one this disappointed me a little bit because there is this recurring defect which i'm not sure why it is there but nearly all of these boards seem to have this little blob of silk screen on that little pad over there on the SOT666 left bottom pin there is this blob of silk screen which I'm not a fan of uh, this this other board you can see it has goop all over the place and on that little pad I'm not sure why just that little pad which gets uh, silk screen all over it but it seems to be the case with most of these boards in the failed category you can see a bit of silk screen gets to this pad as well yeah and one thing i wanted to mention was also the poor centering like this centering is not really that good at all uh, then the next board again we can see this goop on the pad not sure what's what's up with that like why that is happening but all of these boards seem to suffer from this issue and also the centering isn't really all that great now next board again we have this same goop on this same pad not sure what that is didn't notice that before i was probably some gunk 
Yeah, I definitely would want to clean the whole board with isopropyl alcohol before using it because it's not really all that clean. But that's that's okay. Yeah, this centering seems fine, but if you look at the other side, you notice that it's in fact not fine at all. But in terms of centering, it's not as bad as the last board because look what I found in the last board. So it seems to me what happened when they made this slightly larger hole, when they drilled it, a bit of debris got inside of the of the whole diameter and then only then they plated it. So this bit of debris actually got plated as well. I'm not sure if you can see it very well. That bit of stuff is actually plated in gold so that that is finished that is is part of the finished hole and yet it looks like this I can't imagine how stable solder joint on that would be how electrically reliable that would be because this is the battery power line and it's surrounded by a ground fill so you definitely do not want these two to touch too short because if that happens you short your battery and that's that's really bad news you don't want that to ever happen yeah well other than that uh, that's there is not much else to say like I got one board extra and only two of the boards ended up being without any major defects and blemishes so I mean, I only really needed two, one for prototyping and one for actual production, because then uh, the rest... I already came up with a new revision, so I don't need this, uh, these particular boards. So, so I'm fine with such, such big losses, but like only in this particular case, not in general. Like I'm not happy about such wastage, that, that's, not, that's not good, but oh well, it's five dollars per ten boards so really if if i would pay five dollars for two boards that's like two dollars fifty per board and that's still a really good price so i'm not holding this against pcb way it's just slightly disappointing uh, but again i'm sure all of these boards would work too and if I would really try, I could perhaps make, uh, uh, not this one, this one had a bad uh, drill, but maybe this one I could rely on, maybe this one, I would, I would try cleaning the goop from the pads, but that's, like, I'm not sure what it happens, whether it's a problem with the process or, like, what happened, but... It's it's strange seeing the same blob of goop on the exactly same pad. I'm not sure why, but oh well. Yeah, well, this is probably the actual conclusion of the video and because I have nothing else to say. And when I'm done with soldering these two, I might show the result, but it will probably take a while. Until then, be good.